Hi, this is Randy Whitehouse from the Canbeck Journal Morning Sentinel, and we are here at Waterville High School. We're going to be doing a, a quick preview of the upcoming soccer playoffs, but first we talked with members of the Waterville girls soccer team. They've had an incredible season, outscoring their opponents 79 to nothing. And we caught, talked with uh, Coach uh, Ian Wilson and uh, uh, goaltender Gabriella Martin and uh, defender Brooke Edinger about uh, why they've been so successful defensively this year. Yeah, you know, I think it, it makes them motivated to do their work in the off season. I think that those kinds of motivations don't last very long, though. Uh, I think what drives this group of kids is that they love being together, they love the sport, uh, and they enjoy playing at a high level. They have uh, a lot of uh, integrity and accountability. If there are things happening on the field that we know we don't want, uh, things that won't be able to... We have a saying, and the saying is that whatever we do in every practice in every game has to be good enough for the best team we're going to see all year. And so the girls hold themselves to a pretty high standard. Uh, they are not willing to accept things in games that, sh that we won't be able to do in, say, the state finals, if we're lucky to get that far. Uh, well, in the preseason, we recognized that we were giving up a lot of goals. We played some of the toughest teams we could find in the state. And uh, the good thing about that is that you find out where the leaks in the ship are. And so the kids were awesome about not sort of ignoring them. Uh, they recognized that we need to fix these things defensively. And they really did a good job of being willing to put the work in. There's nothing... Um, really fun about good defense. It's, it's fun to score goals and get shots, but playing good defense is the same in every sport. You grind away, uh, you work together as a team. Uh, team defense is always stronger than just a couple of individuals, and they made a real commitment to getting better in that area. And I think the results showed um, in, in, we're better defensively than we were last year, too. Um, well, you know, we actually, this didn't come up until recently, but we, we never really talked about it. Uh, we never talk about streaks. We don't talk about how many games in a row we haven't given up a goal. Uh, we try and just be in the moment and focus on playing well defensively uh, in this game, the one we're, the one we're facing now. And uh, I'm a pretty firm believer that it's, it's very difficult to score against us if the ball is in the opponent's end. So we try to maintain possession. We try and uh, keep possession in our attacking half of the field. Uh, I don't very often see opponents score from their own defensive half. And so uh, I, I'm happiest when the ball is there. <laughs> All right. Um, I wouldn't expect it. I, I thought that it was gonna. I didn't know if it was gonna be difficult or not, and I knew the teams that we were gonna play coming in, but I didn't expect not letting up a goal. What's uh, what's been the key to the defense's success this year? Um, they work really well together, and they read balls well, and I communicate with them, and they communicate with me, and it's just it flows really well. How many close calls have you had as far as goals being scored? Not many. Well. Yeah, not yeah, not many, but it's just I have to be awake all the time. So. Well, and you guys, I mean, you're you're winning games, you're leading games, five, six, seven, eight, nothing. How do you keep your focus in that, in that case? Um. Well, I just try to have fun. I just talk to the defense after we score, and I just keep communicating, and I just watch us play because it's really fun to watch us play. I feel like the communication will help us a lot, and just me talking to them and I think we'll be we'll be okay. If somebody finally scores a goal on you guys, will you have to take a minute to collect yourselves and recover from that or do you think you'll be able to, to just drop it? I think we'll be able to drop it. I mean, coach told us yesterday if a goal goes in, then we just have to respond to it and just play as hard as we would if a goal didn't go in. Okay. Go ability. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I would have thought it would be incredible. I still think it's incredible, and I would have thought that we would have had to put up a fight, which we did, and just had to stay focused, and if that was our goal, then stick to it. What's been the key? Why haven't you guys given up any goals? Um, I think we work really well together this season, and we've been communicating, and we've been working really hard because we know what our team goal is in the end, and we want to work towards that. What does coach expect of the defense? What, uh, what kind of assignments does he give you guys uh, for a game? Um, he expects us to know what we're doing, and which we do, because we practice it in pra the day before the practice, and just kind of do what you've always done, because we know what we're doing, and he just wants us to do the best we can. You guys are on a team that scores a lot of goals, so how do you keep the intensity? Um, one thing that we have is play, is, uh, play like we're playing the best team that we'll see all season, and I think that's how we keep up the intensity, by playing like we'll, we're playing the best team we'll see all season. Uh, has this group been together for a long time, or are you new girls? Or? Um, the seniors that we have this year, we've gained one and we lost one, but other than that, we've been playing since we were little, since five or so. What kind of job does Gabby do there in the goal? How much does that help you guys out? It helps us, helps us out, like, a lot because she just talks to us. She lets us know when someone's behind us. She lets us know where the ball's going to go, helps us read, helps us uh, push the ball to whatever direction we need to go, stuff like that. Thanks, everyone, from Marville High School uh, girls soccer team for joining us. Just real quick, uh, a rundown of what's coming up in the playoffs. The uh, prelims start this weekend, hopefully, weather permitting. Uh, the girls are scheduled to start on uh, Saturday. The boys are scheduled to start on Friday. Uh, there's a chance those games obviously could be pushed back, but if not, the quarterfinals will start uh, for the uh, boys on tu next Tuesday, the girls next Wednesday. Uh, among those waiting for the quarterfinals are the Waterville girls. They have a first round bye in Class B East. Uh, also on the girls' side, teams with a, a first round bye and a number one seed are uh, the Madison Bulldogs in Class C West and the Richmond Bobcats in Class D West. Uh, on the boys' side, the, uh, the two teams with uh, the number one seed in a first round bye are the defending champions uh, from Class C, e, uh, the Miranda Cook uh, Black Bears, and uh, in Class D, the Richmond Bobcats also have the top seed. So uh, be sure to check out some of the action uh, this next week, wherever you can, and hopefully we'll see you on the pitch sometime soon. Thanks.